it, it, it goes away for a while, but then when you go straight again, uh, it makes this, you know, like they a, turn right like a grinding or something noise. And we we think it's a um, it's the bearing, right bearing, because yeah. uh, how yeah, we know uh, because we we stopped. Like if you drive for a while, then you you can touch the wheel. Today we will be replacing the uh, the wheel bearing, bearing, the wheel bearing. Yeah, it's so a, it makes a lot of noise. We are using this kind of. Doesn't have any plate, but it makes a lot of noise. What kind? What size is it? No, five sixteenths, uh, I think. Let me check. One inch and uh, three sixteenths. Okay, one inch and three sixteenths. Right there, one uh -huh. inch and three sixteenths. You got the the pin out one? No. No. We just need a really good gun to we'll take care of it. So, the reason we're replacing it is because the vehicle is making a big noise while driving. It's like a grinding noise or something. Yeah, so we're gonna remove these two bolts now, unscrew that nut, and br remove the brakes. Okay. And, and disconnect the arm mm -hmm. from the bottom. Okay, so we tried 30 millimeter. It's kind of it's a more little bit loose. loose, but 30 millimeter. You can still use it. But one inch and three sixteenths works the best. Right on. More, more tight. Okay, now we're gonna use a, a big gun. Air gun. Okay, we can try with the smaller gun, but it may not work. I'm sure it's not gonna work, but. We're gonna try. Whoa. It's way too big. What am I doing? Like I said, it's not gonna work. No. I need something bigger. When you We're doing it with the bigger one. I just wanna go in. There we go. What's easy. Just. <laughs> Fast and easy. Fast and easy. Done. That's it. That's it. We're not gonna need that nut anymore. Okay, so we bought the new one. You can buy just the bearing from a store. You can also buy it together with the. You know, the problem is buy it together. Bearing yeah, and this. Is Why? Better. Because when the bearing sits, when you're gonna press it, out, it, I'm gonna it, press out this the old one. It sits very tight. It's it sits tight on this, so and it's hard to remove. You, you have, have to cut to it. Like cut it. Cut the whole bearing. Yeah. To remove it. To remove. Here. Yeah. Take it off. It's better to buy it together. That's one. Mm -hmm. So we, we bought this on eBay. And it comes together with the nut. Mm -hmm. Let's try if it fits. There we go. Yeah. Well, yep, it fits. We're also checking the size. That's the right uh, size. Thread or the same. Checking the thread. Good. That's it. Okay, so we remove this two bolts from the back with 17 millimeter using this tool. Okay. Now, the fun part. Yeah, just go like this. We're we gonna remove the brakes. It doesn't want to come side. off for some reason. It does. It doesn't yeah, feel sometimes you, good. You just need to We're gonna put uh, the uh, zip tie. We're gonna hang it. We're gonna hang it this way better. Oh, oops. Be careful for the brake pad to not to come out. And we're gonna just hang it.
can you uh, can you help? Uh -huh. It's hard to do with one hand. Until it's gonna hold. Yeah. That much weight. Yeah. yeah Easy. It does. It's a deep tie. Now we remove the brake disc. Uh -huh. We insert the Looks all right. It doesn't have any play, but it, it, it makes really makes sense. Uh, okay. Go ahead. We used 19 millimeter. This one did not do the job, so on the big one. For some reason. One is out, and another one's coming. That's there it. Go. Open this. And as you can see, we, we installed the new ones before, but guys, make sure you buy the good stuff because look what happened. It's been like maybe a couple of months and they're like completely destroyed already. The seller is bad. Yeah, make sure you get the good stuff. This one's out. Pin is out. And screw this nut. Listen, made it. Mm -hmm. it. Did a job. Okay. Knock it down, right? Just with the hammer. Mm -hmm. Lightly. I'm gonna put it in the trap. I think it's off. Yeah. Okay, this is what happened. Still good, but the rubber thing is done. And the rubber seal is no good. It's no good anymore. But the thing is good itself. Okay, let's remove it. No. Oh, you did not disconnect this wire. Ah, uh, ABS? Yeah. ABS wire. Size 10 and did you remove the bottom bolt? Oh. Bottom? The bottom? No. I'm not sure. No, we did not. Let me check. Tie size 10, yep. Okay, we pulled it out. You can install the bolt back so you don't lose it. Now let's pull it out. Now we're gonna disconnect this one. This pin mm -hmm. and uh, remove, remove the pin. And we're gonna take it off and we can work on it now. Doesn't want to. It doesn't feel like it, so there we go. Now we're going to unbolt this. Okay, so we're using a nine, nine, 19. Yeah. No, I'm not sure how we're going to... use gonna, a gun, I guess. We're going to put the bar. We're going to okay, we place a... this bar. Bar. Put it there. Okay. There we go. And we're going to work with like... Oh, because you cannot put the gun in there, right? Or you can't. Or you can't. From, from the, the side. Kill socket. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right, man. Kill socket. It works. Mm -hmm. Nice. Spin it this. Mm -hmm. Spin it. Okay, here's the sound. We're spinning it. You hear the sound? It's bad. It shouldn't be making any noise. Very bad.
Okay, so we clean it. And there's a ring that you need to remove. Okay, so we I'm are gonna, gonna be removing Squeeze this. this two ends and you're gonna pull the side. All right, pull the side. Up. Put a screwdriver in and up. Yep, just like that. Good job. Now we're just gonna pull it off just like that. There we go. We're good. Now we're good. Press out. Okay, so we will. And this part this we're gonna compress out as well. This, way. this out and this out. This way. Okay. This down. Up. So we will be removing this one and, and throw it away. I don't and need just this. throw it away. It's just so a trash. Because it's broken over here. Anyway, so. It. We will be Trust using a trailer to compress needs this it. out. We are using the break loose stuff. Now we're gonna be pushing it. You need a compressing machine for this. Or use something like we are using. We're gonna use a jack. Jack. I'm gonna push just a little bit. I'm gonna add more. And more. And more. And sh show the. Um, Hopefully, nothing slides off. Alex, show yeah. the socket. Socket that we're using. Socket where? On the bottom. The, yeah. Oh, the socket. show what socket? Yeah. Oh. We're using the 24 millimeter. 24 millimeter socket is gonna go right here to push it inside so it does not get stuck. Make make sure it's make sure it goes through the bearing so it does not stuck. Yeah, it goes through. Let's see. Just a little bit loose. A little bit loose. So it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, let's start pumping. Fun part shall begin. Can you step yeah, back just in case? Stay back. Oh, it's going. Yeah, it's going. It's okay, uh, we need something longer. A longer socket, you mean? Yeah, we need a uh, longer socket. Okay, so we installed another extension. And we can continue. Uh, there's another problem now we face. Uh -huh. okay, so it was touching the wood right here. So. How's everything? Good. Let's go down. It's out. That's it. It's still what happens? Okay, so this That's is what, what happens. happens when you press out. The, Look, the one it side even of the broke bearing off right here. stays on, breaks and, and stays you on. You will have to cut this. Yeah, some people will cut it. it. If you and remove. If you want to it. install and just the so bearing. As soon as you cut it, it will be loose. You will be able to put a screw in, screwdriver in, mm -hmm. and uh, shift it off. To okay. Take it off. So that's why it's better to buy the new. Yeah, uh, it's better. This to buy stuff new. and the bearing together. The bearing itself. It changed its color. Red color. Nice. Red color. It was heating up. That's yeah. why it was making noise. Was See that? One fell out. So. You see the color? Look at the color. It should be. Uh, should be. Uh, silver, right? Silver, yeah. Color. Like this metal. Mm -hmm. They're bad. Okay, now we're using a bigger socket to remove the uh, the rest of the bearing down. As you can see,
going. Okay, so here's what I had. This would just push the rest of the bearing. And we got it out. Awesome. Okay, so we cleaned everything inside using this kind and of outside brush. Outside well, yeah, with the brush. And outside. So this would feed. So this one will go inside, sit in that gap. As you can see, we removed that thing from the, the duster or whatever it's called. The water, weather shield will probably... I don't want this. So if you want to remove it as well, there's like three bolts here. Okay, so we can use something similar to this. Two inch, two inch uh, socket. Two inch socket. I'm gonna press it with it. With or you can key. use uh, your old one. Or use an old, yeah. Or you can use an old one. To press it in. Fine as well. Whatever works. Okay, so we're gonna use some oil to lubricate the outside, so it will go easier on us. Well, you want to make sure that everything is lubricated well. I don't want any issues. It doesn't say which side, so... Yeah, we're just gonna press it. Should be the same. Mm-hmm. Make sure it is centered, so it, it does not get stuck. If it's not straight, then it will get stuck. Probably. <laughs> Sounds like it. I think I'll that's it. it. <laughs> Turn it. Flip it. Yeah, I see. Is it all yeah, the way? we are all the way in. Yep. Yep. We are all the way in. We good. Okay, so we're gonna use this. We use. We're gonna use the bottom of it. The back. This is what? Uh, one inch, thirteen sixteenths. Mm -hmm. The top of that. To press this one in. Yeah. We're gonna flip this over. Like so. Flip. Okay, make is sure it this center? one is center. I think so, yeah. Make sure that thing is centered now. <coughs> Let's lubricate. Yeah. We're gonna use oil to lubricate it. I'm gonna keep going with it. some oil let's do the same inside okay so we're gonna use two inch and one eight with this one okay now we're gonna so measure. what we're gonna do now is uh we want to make sure that when we press this in that that end that it doesn't hit the socket on the bottom so I want to make sure, I'm going to measure this, see how far it will travel down from this angle to that, from this side to that side. 
you know I don't want to I want to make sure that it doesn't hit the socket on the bottom there so I'm just, we're just gonna measure that real quick I'm gonna measure this way approximately okay so we're about there okay all right let's see where we are then Now we're gonna measure from this angle to that right over there. So it's not, no, touching. it's not touching. As you can see, it's not touching. And you wanna make sure when you press, why do we have this on the bottom? We wanna make sure that it sits right on this side of the bearing. Otherwise it's gonna break it. it yeah, it's gonna push it off, push it off. You wanna make sure it's there, like so. Exactly perfect, you know what I mean? Make sure that mm -hmm. you don't wanna break them. Otherwise break. you're gonna break the bearing. Yeah. I'm gonna break the new bearing. You wanna make sure that everything is evenly perfect, so we're no, good. We measured it. Right like this. Make sure it's all good. Uh, we're gonna give. I'm gonna make sure it's lubricated well. Okay. You're good to roll. Look, we're not gonna have enough space. Okay. Make sure it's even. So we found another socket. Yeah, yeah, I showed. You showed? Okay. Seats right perfectly on it. Now let's go in. Press the sand. Hopefully that we have enough space. If not, then we're gonna have to remove wood. Wood. We're not gonna have enough space. Okay, looks like we have space. And that's just the height. We're gonna start going in. Hopefully that it's gonna go perfectly in. Maybe we should check. It's going easily. And you're gonna feel that it, it stops. So that's it. I think it's all the I'm way. Sure huh? that there is there is no way that it's gonna go any further. So now we're gonna paint. Okay, and let's see if it's all the way in. I'm sure it's all the way in. How can we tell if it's all the way in or not? We can't tell. There it's there, no gap. all the way. Nothing happened to the bearing. All good. Yep. All good. Yep. We're gonna put the uh, this O ring. The ring. Yeah, yeah all ring that needs to go back secure mid ring. Let's go back inside. Okay, so now let's go ahead and install the ring. It's kind of rusty. You would you wanna clean it? It's alright. It's alright? Okay. It's yeah, so lubricated. Lubricated? Yeah, yeah so it doesn't it. rust. I don't feel like it. So that ring all ring needs to go back and secure. Hopefully this we're gonna be able be to install tough. this first time. Hopefully. Hold it. You hold it. You hold it in place. Or we can just, you know, start tapping on it for a little go in there. Uh oh. It moves. Let's keep tapping on it. You hold it. You hold it. You hold that in. Make sure, hey, don't, don't, don't damage the uh, seal. Yeah. Make sure you don't damage the seal. Hold on. He doesn't want to go. No. Let me squeeze him. Oh, you hold it. It's inside, and it, there is no good grip. It's not that easy, it turns out. Yeah, it's not easy. Maybe we should uh, kind of straighten yeah. this up a little. I'll be pushing it. Yeah, push the push yeah. this right here. You special. squeeze it. No, no, no you, you're it. missing. Or maybe we should get a screwdriver. Okay, so how we got this in? We used so we used screwdrivers. screwdrivers. We and went like so. And we went like that. Yeah, like that, and uh -huh. pushing down, and, and like that, it and it went in. So guys, that's how you replace the bearing. 
If this video was helpful, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel. When installing, don't forget to lock this nut over here. Pin right here, you know. Which does not want to. That's it, I think, huh? Yeah, it's all good. I'm sure.